Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, Windows 10 latest and greatest build. Uh, kind of started my virtual machine today, and I updated it, and I received build 9926. Uh, if, if you guys checked out my last video with Windows 10 update, there was a bunch of, of kind of announcements that they did. That actual operating system build that they were using during the event, during the demo, was actually build 9924. So it looks like they already came out with the latest one. So this right here is like a hands-on first look review for you guys. So let's get started. So off the bat, the first thing that you would notice is Cortana right in the taskbar. Uh, the first time I clicked on it, it gives you an option to uh, give it a name or what's your name my name is Bernardo so let's let's try it out so you hit the mic can I be an assistance yes how's the weather today it's not gonna give me a right answer because it's still listening to everything that I'm doing so let's do it again how's the weather today shows partly cloudy skies with a high of 37 and a low of 28 so that's like a basic kind of question that you would normally ask any personal assistant but it's pretty accurate it, it kind of uh, kind of detects certain words that I kind of didn't pronounce correctly and it fixes it for you which is a plus um, if you go inside the text box it gives you a breakdown of like web history uh, daily routines the web history is basically searches that you've done or you ask Cortana to do for you so it gives you a rundown of what you've done um, you know in a pre you know in the past right uh, you got daily routines uh, you got news you got uh, more news more news more news I don't know if you could customize this uh, but I need to try to figure that out uh, on the three little arrows this is the sub menu uh, allows you to go to your notebook, reminders, places, and settings. Now, settings within here, you got a bunch of other cool things, uh, as well as you can change the name. It, it won't call you Bernardo. It will call you whatever you want it. Uh, change the name Cortana used for you or how Cortana pronounces it. Have Cortana call by your name. Uh, detect tracking info such as flight packages and email. Now, this is pretty interesting because if you have a flight, it's going to automatically say, hey, Bernardo, you got a flight tomorrow at such and such. It's, it's there to help you out uh, so this is all the settings that Cortana already has I, I don't see an option to um, kind of uh, remove it uh, it's probably somebody that kind of clingy and doesn't want their taskbar to be cluttered it's pretty huge so you don't really have an option to actually resize it at all uh, so as you can see I kind of unlocked it I locked it and you still can't move it around uh, the next thing that I noticed on the new build is that the start menu. The start menu has been redesigned. Uh, it looks kind of clean and sharp. They still have the whole portion of all the, the things that you could pin. But you could always unpin them and shrink it down to the point that it will look like an original Windows 7 start screen. Uh, one of the things that I did realize is that they kind of removed the charm bar. And what they did, they gave you a full screen button. If you click on the full screen the full screen actually gives you a charm bar uh, kind of view or perspective and that's pretty awesome uh, and I kind of like this and the reason why I like this is because it gives you an option to group things on the fly like I created a group called IT stuff or I can actually change this so let's change this into BTNHD stuff right so you're actually able to create groups and add certain programs that you use all the time. Like I'm always using Command Prompt, and I'm probably going to add PowerShell to it. So I'm going to do PowerShell, right click, and let's pin to the Start menu. And it's not in the group, so let's put it inside the group. Boom, there you go. The only thing about it is that every time you pin something to the Start menu, it's going to automatically create a group for it. So that, that kind of involves you going back into the start menu and dragging and dropping it into the particular group that you want. You're also able to move the entire group. So these little three out, these three dots that you see inside the, the bar, you're actually able to move it around. So that's awesome. If you click on the button again, it kind of compacts it back together. Uh, another thing that I noticed is the power 
button. Power option gives you sleep, shut down, and restart. Also, if you need to log out or sign out or switch, if you click on your name, these are the options that it gives you. It gives you change account settings, lock, and sign out. I did notice that uh, certain things like design-wise, uh, for example, uh, the text, the font looks extremely crisp. I don't know if it's because of the resolution of my machine, but I did notice that the font is real skinny, real smooth, real light, and it's easy to read on the eyes. I did notice that the icons have been modified. I'm kind of worried about the icons because the icons look a little bit cartoony for me. I don't know if you guys kind of agree with me. If you do, leave comments right below. I also noticed one huge thing is that they're not calling it any PC. They're not calling it PC anymore. Awesome. They're back to the original name as my computer. So I'm assuming that a lot of people were complaining about that. So guys, you got your my computer back. Uh, another thing that I noticed is uh, what else did I notice? Oh, the action center is now re is kind of redesigned and combined into the notification center. So as you can see right here, if you click on it, you get your notification, but it's also your action center as well. Uh, by default, it gives you options to change the display, connection, get into all settings, enable or disable your location. Uh, enable and disable your Wi-Fi as well as your VPN and if you go to all settings all settings has also been redesigned as well so if you guys checked out my kind of announcements of Windows 10 new build you see that pretty soon Microsoft is going to be migrating control panel as well as settings as one now settings is basically PC settings if you guys don't remember uh, if you are running Windows 8 or 8.1 that's PC settings they kind of redesign everything to look nice and sharp and clean. That's pretty awesome. Uh, they still have control panel. Uh, I think they're still working into fully migrating it, but I'm kind of liking the way that PC setting looks. Uh, it's its own type of application. It looks a little bit and it feels like an app store kind of application, but overall it looks good. It looks clean. So uh, as you can see, it looks kind of sharp, clean. I love the whole uh, the type the face, the font, everything looks nice and clean in my point of view. Now, if you guys noticed or heard that uh, I didn't announce it on my last video about the whole Xbox integration with the Windows build, but uh, they do have a Windows Windows Xbox app integrated with the new build. And uh, it's pretty awesome. The first thing I kind of got a problem and uh, one of the issues I had, it, I had problems logging in for some reason. Uh, and the reason was is I needed to authenticate or give permissions to the account to have access to my Xbox. Uh, and also, when you first try to sign in, uh, you get this little problem. Uh, let your Xbox run in the background. You can allow it or don't allow it. It's up to you. Um, if you let if you let this program run constantly in the background, that means it's gathering information and giving you notifications on the fly all the time. I don't know if you guys want that kind of notification stuff, but it's there. So the Xbox thing is pretty awesome. Uh, again, I think on all the apps, they kind of rechanged the taskbar. Uh, they still have the three menus right here for the search, share, print, settings. Uh, they got the minimize, maximize. So this is maximize. And this is a new one right here with the double arrows. So double arrows is a full screen. So and they actually give you an option at the top to do a full screen. So let's... Uh, Compact it back. That's awesome. And let's close it. So, because I signed into the Xbox and I allowed it, that means if I get any notifications, my notification center is gonna receive a notification from Xbox app. So that's pretty cool. Now, then another thing that I noticed is the App Store. Now, when you launch the App Store, it basically says that the store is beta. Microsoft is trying to incorporate the store to be everywhere. Uh, when you're purchasing apps on your phone, tablet, computer, laptop. This is going to be the primary store. Now that kind of reminds me of a little kind of competition, and that's Apple. The feel of the app looks like an Apple store. I'm sorry, guys. I know. Uh, I want to know if you guys agree. And uh, let me maximize this. And as you can see, it looks and feels just like an Apple store. The way that is designed, the way that the app scrolls to the left and to the right, the boxes, everything. So. I don't know. I don't think that I don't think that concept is original, Microsoft. So I'm sorry about that. But I do like the design. I like the way it looks. It looks a little bit more organized 
the old app store was just everywhere and the last thing that I noticed and I'll probably announce at the video is that the Internet Explorer has been redesigned to give you edit options uh, it doesn't look like they enable it on this build but you do have the option to edit so if you go to file you have an edit option uh, I'm assuming that once you click on the edit option that's when the note taking begins uh, I was kind of looking for the note taking to be around here but it's not there at all another option that I did notice I don't I never noticed it before because I'm not a huge Internet Explorer so if you guys do use IE a lot and this option was in the, in the old build let me know uh, correct me if I was wrong uh, but I did notice if you go to tools and you go into performance dashboard that's something new it gives you paint time frame rate memory and CPU so that's pretty awesome uh, it looks like Internet Explorer is copying a little bit of Chrome. Chrome does have a dashboard that tells you what processes or CPU is being used within Chrome. So this is the I, this, I think this is the concept that Microsoft is trying to trying to grab, right? Uh, so the way to close that up, just go back into Tools and do a Control Shift U, or just click on it to disappear. But again, Internet Explorer they haven't enabled the they haven't enabled the whole comment and note taking yet. Uh, hopefully they do because I really like that concept and that's it guys hopefully you guys enjoy this hands-on on Windows 10 build 9926 I gotta look at the bottom because so many numbers that basically Microsoft is going and doing all these things by build numbers uh, hopefully you guys enjoy leave your comments right below what are your thoughts about this new build the new concept the new features the new everything this is pretty awesome uh, don't forget about hitting that like button because it does support the video as well as this guy and I catch you guys on the next video peace out